Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. Harry and Meghan have reported multiple drone incidents at their home to the cops. They intend to hire their own security team, paid through by themselves. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are concerned for their family safety following multiple incidents at their Hollywood Hills home, where drones have flown as low as 20 feet above their property to snatch photographs of the couple and their young son, Archie. The couple has been coping with unimaginable levels of press intrusion at their temporary new home, which is reportedly owned by their friend Tyler Perry. It is not known whether the couple is paying rent for the property or not. Prince Charles is paying for Harry and Meghan's security iron troop. The couple has now told friends that when they do hire their own security team, they will pay for any such service out of their own money. The friend said, They are not asking for any special treatment and have not received any, at least five drone related incidents have been reported to the LAPD's non-emergency line. There have been drone related incidents at their home on the 9th, 19th, 20th, 21st and 25th of this month, which were all reported to the authorities. The drones are believed to be operated by paparazzi photographers. However, Harry and Meghan, who have faced repeated racist abuse and trolling, are forced to also treat incoming drones as potential terrorist threats. The friend said, They see these drones coming in at them, and they guess that they are being operated by photographers, but they can't just assume that. Megan received racist death threats at the time of her wedding, so the terror threat is very real for them. But, aside from that, imagine if you were in their shoes facing that, how that would feel. To have drones buzzing around 20 feet above your head when you were trying to play with your son. It's like people forget they are real people. But this is a real family. They are not asking for any special treatment. They are just asking for the safety and security we all expect in our own homes to be respected. A spokesperson for the LAPD said the May 20 attack was reported at 11.12am, with the incident report reading, unknown suspects were flying a drone in the area and they were last seen on Coldwater Canyon. A report for the Memorial Day attack said that a drone was flying over residences and that it is an ongoing drone issue. The Sussexes have been buzzed by drones at least four times in the past week, with the most recent incident taking place on Memorial Day, when the couple were playing with Archie Poolside at the house they are living at temporarily. While there is some debate surrounding the legality of publishing pictures taken by unmanned aerial vehicles, it is unequivocally illegal to fire UAV over people, or beyond your line of sight, unless you are a registered drone pilot. However, commercially available drones costing as little as $1,000 can be operated from several miles away and frequently go in. Registered with the FAA, live footage is streamed back to the user's cell phone, while GPF enables the drones to navigate with pinprick accuracy. Highly intrusive photographs and videos of Harry and Meghan playing with their dog by the pool, believed to have been taken by illegally flown drones, have been published by numerous gossip publications and sites in recent days. Harry and Meghan are also becoming increasingly concerned by the antics of paparazzi and callers pursuing them to take photographs. The friend said, They were out driving in the last month in Los Angeles and were noticed by paparazzi. They were then tailed, followed and chased by two cars, which were being driven very erratically. When they popped up, one of the cars following them, but the reality is people are following and tailing them every day. They are trying not to let the aggressiveness get to them. Protecting their family is their top concern. Friends said baby Archie was not with them at the time as they were delivering food for the Project Angel charity. The claim that the couple is being habitually chased by cars will inevitably recall the fate of Princess Diana, who was killed in a car crash as her driver attempted to outrun paparazzi in a Paris underpass. Prince Harry said last year that he is reminded of his mother's death whenever he sees camera flashes. However, being besieged by drones when they try to play with their son outside around the pool of their luxury Hollywood home is causing them more concern on a daily basis. A friend said that Meghan and Harry felt violated by a media hunt to find out and publicize where they were living and by wild speculation in the media about their security arrangements. A friend said that fresh reports that Prince Charles was paying for their security were untrue, saying, 
Charles is not paying for security costs. It is understood that the couple has yet to hire a permanent security team and is currently being protected by the private team already in place at the house they are residing at. The issue of funding their security blew up in March after Donald Trump said US taxpayers would not contribute to protecting Sussexes. Harry and Meghan's spokespeople said at the time that privately funded security arrangements have been made. The couple is also believed to be upset by suggestions that they have invited press intrusion into their lives by moving to Los Angeles. However, many unsympathetic critics have argued that life in Los Angeles was bound to be characterized by such activity. Even Lindsay Lohan is among those to have questioned the likelihood of the couple being able to live a peaceful life in Los Angeles. Lohan, interviewed on Sirius XM and Andy Cohen Live in March, let out a laugh when the host said the royal couple had moved to Malibu to seek out a more peaceful life and said it was hard to picture a refe on another, a different private beach. You can't go to those beaches without being photographed, you can't even step out far enough. It's just really hard to do anything publicly there. However, Meghan and Harry's friend hit back at such charges and said, it's absurd to say they are inviting this because they are in California. When they were in a totally remote location in Canada, they still had swarms of paparazzi photographers descending on them from all over the globe. No one would expect that in rural Canada, but it happened, just as it has now happened in Los Angeles. They have absolutely not tried to bring any attention onto themselves. The friend said there had been a hunt to pinpoint the family's location and obtain details on their security arrangements. The friend said, It's relevant to all of us. We expect to be safe and secure at home, especially when we are doing something like playing with our kids. Another report. The Queen noted that great-grandson Archie has Prince Harry's red hair during a birthday video call. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to actor Tyler Perry's $18 million Hollywood home with their son Archie, one last month having stepped back from royal duty in March. Now sources have told royal editor Katie Nichol how the couple spoke with the Queen on her birthday earlier this month, with Her Majesty commenting on the similarities between Prince Harry and his son. Meanwhile, another insider told the Times the couple are having a magical time and spending a lot of time together as a family during lockdown explaining. Archie is a happy and sweet baby, full of love and joy, and it's contagious. He is active and pulling himself up on everything with a great determination to walk. Katie explained that the Queen had only seen her great-grandson a handful of times over the last year of his life. However, she added that the couple video called the 94-year-old as she celebrated her birthday at Windsor Castle last month. Meanwhile, the couple have been spending more time with Meghan's mother, Doria, with hopes that they will find a permanent home in Los Angeles with a granny flat or wing in which she can stay. Katie went on to reveal that while Duke and Duchess are currently living in Beverly Hills, they are also keen to be out of the Hollywood fray. Their property search is focusing on properties close to nature and somewhere where they can hike is said to be important to them. Sources went on to explain how they are currently just enjoying watching Archie experience Milestone and spending time together as a family. The comments come after a momentous month for the couple, who celebrated Archie's first birthday, as well as their second wedding anniversary in the last few weeks. Royal biographer Omid Scabi previously revealed how Prince Harry and Meghan celebrated their second wedding anniversary with a Los Angeles favorite, Mexican food and margaritas. The Duke and Duchess reportedly enjoyed a quiet day of celebrations together joining family and friends on Zoom. British journalist Omid, who has co-written their upcoming biography Finding Freedom, revealed the couple reminisced about what a beautiful and magical day their wedding was. Omid said the couple chatted with a number of people, including some of the vendors who helped bring the ceremony and reception to life about exchanging their vows in May 2018 at Windsor Castle. A source said, they all reminisced about what a beautiful and magical day it was adding that they video called friends and family. Meanwhile, they also spent time video calling when marking baby Archie's first birthday. Sources told People magazine that the couple crafted a really simple but incredibly joyous celebration for their son, with the trio taking time to video call to chat with his godparents and family. 
Please support Growing LMT Royal Channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Don't stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.